Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a comparison of first class and economy from my flights on a SkyWest CRJ700 from Phoenix, Arizona to St. George, Utah. So we'll look at a comparison across different parts of the whole experience from check-in to boarding to the seats to in-flight entertainment, refreshments and deplaning. So let's begin. So the first part we'll look at is the check-in for the flight. So of course, this is only applicable if you have a bag to check or if you don't have an electronic boarding pass. So some airports might have a first class check-in line, but for my flights, there weren't any. So I did check a bag though. So for the first class flights, there is no bag check fee when you check a bag and it will get a priority label that they say will you know, make it one of the first bags to come out um, at the baggage carousel when you get your bag, so that's nice. Um, in economy, AA will charge you $30 to check your bag. Now, if of course you have no bags to check, then you can go straight to security and then there'll be no difference in this part of the flight. Um, so lounge access after you go through security. So for domestic first class flights, there's no lounge access permitted for American Airlines with the exception of a few select transcons flights such as like New York to San Francisco or LA. So the next is boarding. So for first class, you get boarding group one now this is nice because you can get settled into your seat which is a more comfy seat than the boarding area and the jet bridge is not all backed up literally you walk down the jet bridge go in the plane and sit down and you know also of course there's plenty of overhead bin room for your carry-on which of course you know in first class has its own area for the overhead space now if you aren't in first class you could be in any group through like two through eight depending on a number of factors so when I'm flying coach, you know, I'll be honest, if I don't really look forward to getting on the plane, uh, it's crowded and uncomfortable. If I have a roller board for the overhead bin, then you kind of have to be one of the first on board. So you, there's plenty of room to get your bag in the overhead bin. Um, but if my bags are checked, sometimes I'll be like one of the last ones to get on the flight just because you have more time and room in the terminal to, you know, stretch and move around before you have to get on the plane and then also with you know economy boarding the jet bridge and the aircraft dial are all backed up so after you know scanning your ticket you have like a five to ten minute wait in the jet bridge and then another five to ten minute crowded walk just to get back to your seat talking about the seats so the seats in economy for my flight the crj 700 weren't so bad you know when you're a bigger guy like me six four you don't really fit in any economy seat. So your knees are gonna be hitting the seat in front of you. Um, but for a person of, you know, more of a normal height, that's probably okay. So the first class seats are better. And what I like about the A seats on the CRJ700 in first class is that it's one seat by itself. So it's both a window and an aisle seat. And that's kind of like the best seat in my opinion. And then also, you know, the first class seats are four inches wider and four to six inches more leg room. So that makes the whole trip more enjoyable. So when you're on and you're boarded, and then the next thing is like pre takeoff refreshments. So in first class, you get served a pre takeoff drink. Usually I get apple juice. That's just my routine. It's not like you are dying of thirst or anything at this point, but you know, it is a nice touch. The pre takeoff refreshment in economy is whatever you brought on board. Plus you have the entertainment of watching everyone try to load their things in the overhead bins. When it gets like in-flight, so the in-flight entertainment is the same, the first class or in the back. You know, AA has onboard Wi-Fi. It's free if you log into the website and then watch their entertainment. So talking about refreshments, there is a big difference here, but it largely depends on how long your flight is. So for my flight, which was only 45 minutes, in first class, there was a snack basket you could pick from which was mainly just like different kinds of chips. They came around with that twice and also your choice of beverage. So overall the flight attendants were, you know, fairly busy the whole time, you know, passing out snacks, getting people something to drink, picking up trash. Um, in economy on my flight, it was literally water service. So they came around with a stack of cups and a bottle of water. You take a cup and they pour the water and that's pretty much the in-flight service. They came through once with the water service 
and then wants to pick up the trash and then pretty much that's it. So that's pretty much the most basic form of in-flight refreshment that there could ever be. Really just no snacks, just the water. And I would say that's pretty much the most significant difference. So then like deplaning, um, so okay, in first class, you're gonna be the first off the aircraft, of course, because you're up front. You know, basically stand up, collect your stuff, and then you're off to your connecting flight, or maybe that's your destination, you get your bags, and you head out of the airport. In economy, um, you know, some people stand up, but of course you aren't going anywhere right away. Um, the deep planning on this plane is faster just because there isn't really much overhead luggage. Everybody has to gate check their big rollerboard bags. So people mostly, you know, just stand up and get off the plane. But depending on where you're sitting, it can be like an extra five or 10 minutes. So some overall impressions. Um, the biggest benefit for first class is there are like the things you would expect, right? Like a larger seat, better in-flight refreshments. Um, but if it's worth it or not, I think just depends on how much you're willing to pay. To purchase first class ticket with your initial ticket purchase, it can easily be double the price. Um, so that might not be worth it. But if first isn't full and you purchase economy, AA will start like sending out notification offers to you, you know, hey, upgrade to first. And then depending on how many seats are available, it seems like the price can be cheap. So, you know, sometimes I've seen as low as like $65 to upgrade to first class. So if you want to see my video on upgrading to first class for $65, then you can click the video that's suggested on the screen. For these short 45 minute flights, to me paying double for first class isn't really worth it, you know, unless you're on a business trip and the company's paying for it. But paying the smaller price upgrade later, you know, can be worth it, assuming there are seats available, so you're taking that chance. So that's basically it for this one. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.